Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. So yes, finally like have been predicted, we finally get Neo Vision on this week. So the soon is really soon because yes, this week finally. Now let's talk about the brand new cloud, okay, the Neo Vision cloud. So his strong point is of course, he is the first real in quote neo vision character so of course he gonna power creep all seven stars characters bye bye zenaida okay but i'm not salty because yes i don't spend lots of resources for zenaida so it's okay okay so yes it is cloud so who dares to mock him cloud will be always cloud okay very good characters and yes, at this time he can become two type. Okay, he can become chainer or finisher. For chaining, he can chain with Stardust Ray Chain. And if you take a look on Japan Wiki, okay, his Stardust Ray Chain is quite amazing because it is backlog chain, 0.5 times and 74 times when dealing the finishing move and AOE attack. So yes, pretty good, I must say. And for finisher, I must say he is crazy insane because he deal he can deal 110 times per cast if I count that correctly, okay? And because he has triple cast, that means 330 times damage per turn. Wow, that's insane, okay? If you remember Zenaida, Zenaida able to deal 366 using her LP, but again, that's not for every turn and remember this cloud has much better stats than seven stars so of course he is gonna be more powerful than Zenaida okay really amazing character I really cannot wait to try using him but yeah even when he is Neo Vision I can point few weakness okay the first one is he is limited to one element thunder element and yes, he is Neo Vision, but I think I still hate true double hand attackers, okay? And the biggest reason is if I'm not if I'm not wrong, okay? So correct me if I'm wrong. On global, the true double hand still cap on 300%. So they don't give us an announcement. They gonna make it 400% like Japan or maybe it's just 400% for Neo Vision. I don't know, okay? But if the global still cap on 300%, I must say it's kinda annoying. Let's hope it is 400% true double hand for this Neo Vision cloud. At that time, he is gonna be really amazing. Because if you take a look on his Super Trust Mastery Word, this gives you 200% true double hand. Wow, okay? So I'm. The next one thing is, I'm not trying to be negative here, but remember, he is the first Neo Vision unit. So maybe, okay, maybe judging from the past, there will be much, much more powerful Neo Vision characters available in the future. I know, I know there will be always more powerful character in the future, but the point here is, he is the first character, so... Yes, he will be very weak when we get transition into full Neo Vision Rooster. At this time, Neo Vision is still not a must have. Okay, like like uh, like on the past, when we get first six stars, we can still clear lots of trials using four stars base, and when we get uh, seven stars form, we can still clear lots of trials with six stars i think that's also the same for this case okay yes neo vision come but we can still use our yeah let's say uh, seven stars characters pretty good so yes maybe be careful on power creep but maybe the power creep won't be as hard as on the past because it seems that they give more durability to characters because we can awaken them into x3 x plus 3 okay so maybe this game become more like war of the vision okay where the characters 
not get poor creep so much Okay, so that's for Cloud. Now let's talk about the next character, Tifa. Oh, our favorite girl, okay, gets the Neo Vision form. Wow, I'm really happy because, like you remembered, okay, on past few months, Tifa went from zero to hero. And now she becomes a hero again, okay, really nice because she gets an X awakening and the best part is they give her for free okay so from what i know you can get her x i mean neo vision form x plus one for free by logging or and they do daily quests on the game okay so yes very nice we can get free neo vision to taste the power of neo vision and at this time she becomes yes chainer like on the past but you can chain with Stardust Ray. Wow, really good upgrade because Divine Ruination is so 2016. Okay, we are on 2020, so what? We're using Divine Ruination? No, we can use Stardust Ray now. So, really good for now. And she has triple cast. Wow, another amazing thing, okay? And based from what I see, what? Based from what I saw on the wiki, her damage is about 72 to 80 times per cast. So, yes, she can deal 240 times damage per cat per turn, which is wow, quite powerful. Okay, and her weak point, I guess, I can say that she is not the real Neo Fisher. Okay, based from what I look, uh. Pseudo Neo Vision, the five stars Neo Vision, has some weakness. Okay, they cannot stay forever on their brave shift form. Okay, so unlike Cloud, for Cloud, you can stay forever on brave shift form, but for Pseudo Neo Vision, you have time. Okay, Let, let's say like two turns, and you need to wait for one turn before you're able to use it. But don't worry, because from what I saw, it is still powerful. Okay really nice so yes that's for tifa congratulations we will get her the next one barrett so wow he is pretty good here unlike his four stars sprite okay but this is what i'm afraid okay they getting lazy to create five stars units why i say that because in my opinion, his abilities are not interesting at all. He is a true double hand. Uh, let's say he can become chainer, but his chain seems weak. So I can say he is more toward a finisher, okay? So, yes, he has powerful move. He can deal, let's say, about 100, 150 times or whatever per cast. But you cannot use that multiple times because it uses his LB crystals okay so can you can only use it once per turn and maybe on the next turn you cannot use it anymore because you still haven't filled your LB gauge and yes he only has one element fire and he's a true double hand just remember we have Phoenix Jake and Phoenix Jake has more elements than him so I think Phoenix Jake is more powerful than him, okay, based on quick look, okay, I, I, I'm not saying or implying anything, okay, this is simply my assumption, okay, sorry guys, so because I haven't taken a look carefully, because the skill is still on Japan, Japan, and I'm not sure whether the name or damage modifier is correct, okay, but yeah, based on quick look, quick look that's that was my opinion but i can say that his trust mastery word and stmr are pretty good okay especially for gun users of course for gun users because wow 52 attack and 40 percent attack when equipped gun that's pretty insane boost for gun users wow very good okay if you in if in the future there is a powerful gun users then this STMR are gonna be really good for them. 
Okay, so the strange thing here is he's new character, but he doesn't have new official form. And this is another thing I like, okay? I hope they don't get lazy on 5 stars form and yes, we get like the old times, okay? Remember that on the old times we get 4, four stars characters or 3 stars characters who able to become 6 stars. So that was really good moment on the past, okay? After that we get Abilities Awakening, but recently we don't have any moment like that because yeah, pretty mess. So I hope this kind of thing gonna be make this gonna make this game good on the future. Okay, that's for Barrett. Now let's talk for the free unit Reno. So Reno is kind of like I can say free Riku because I must say he's quite amazing, guys. Uh, yes, seventy five percent AOE break. So I can say that maybe for breakers he even better than uh, Machina but again we back into single enemy trials so again I think AOE breaks maybe not as important as on past few months but still it is pretty pretty good free unit okay because for breakers you don't need to care much about the attack stats simply make sure they survive and another unique thing about Reno is he able to boost your lightning, physical, and magic damage. So it is good, especially for Cloud, because I just mentioned that Cloud use Thunder Element. So maybe you can use Reno as your breaker and yes, buff your Cloud's attack, Cloud new vision attack. Okay, and he can also become backup chainer, absolute mirror of equity, but Yes, his weapon, it is mace, and he, the trust master reward, it boosts your attack when equipped with mace, and like you know that mace, oh, this is really niche weapon, okay, maybe that will be changed on this Neo Vision Age, but meh, I must say, okay, and for the STMR, it is good but bad at the same time, it gives you fatal damage protection, one feature I really like, so I really like on this game, but it is 90% chance. Yes, I know 90% is high or high, okay, but still you have 10% chance to fail. Imagine that fail on the let's say 50 50th turn or whatever that that will be annoying. Okay, and the health you need to have 50% or more health. So that's quite high for threshold protection. Okay, so that's for Reno. You know, now, like usual, the final question, should you summon? Of course, you should summon if you are fanboy of Final Fantasy VII. So this is the reason I have said on the past, don't pull Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children Cloud. If you like Cloud, there will be new official form. This is the reason. So if you have hold back on the past, this is the time to unleash your lapis to get this Neo Vision. Okay, for Cloud Fanboy, this is the time to pull for him. And if you are not a Cloud Fanboy, then this is also a perfect time if you want to taste a real Neo Vision power. Remember that Tifa is not real Neo Vision. Okay, I call, I call her pseudo Neo Vision, but that doesn't mean she is bad. Okay? Don't twist my word. And another reason is this may be not true, but from what I see, maybe farming currencies will be a little bit harder. Okay, because on the past we have four stars based characters, we who gives us seventy five percent boost, but at this time, wow, they are gone. You need to have seven stars of Final Fantasy seven characters. That's good, I believe some of you have those characters, but they only give you 60%, so it's lower than 4 stars base, kinda annoying I must say, and maybe, not maybe, okay, I believe we have even more items to buy on new King Mode event, because on the past we don't need to buy like, uh, let's say materials to awaken 
Neo Vision to level up Neo Vision ability, but this time we can buy them. So of course we need to buy them, right? Okay, and yes, reason not to buy Neo Vision. I mean, to not to pull on this banner is because, yeah, if you are veteran players, you already know. Wow, what a nightmare to get a character that you want for 1.25% rate. Wow, the rate. I still can remember that I spent 25,000 lapis and don't get anything. Titus, if I'm not mistaken, on the past, on the past I want Titus and yeah, I don't get him. But yes, maybe if you are lucky, good luck, okay? This is something we cannot evade by, by any means, so feel free if you want to pull, okay? But this is simply uh, advice, I mean, yeah, reason for you not to pull. And remember, we also get Tifa, Tifa for free, okay? And based from what I know, maybe this is correct or wrong, I have seen that many players say that Tifa Neo Vision is still one of the strongest at this point of the game. Remember that Japan is four months ahead of us, okay? And if Tifa is still one of the strongest Neo Vision, I don't think we need to get Cloud. Just use your Tifa to the fullest. That's what I think. If you don't, for the reason not summoning, okay? And remember that on the global, they already give us a preview for global exclusive units and like you know global exclusive units usually you know usually broken so maybe that um, tick elena and ninja auron maybe you want to get them so yes save your lapis in that case okay because 1.25 percent it's not easy to get there is no safe net like before. Actually, maybe there is safe net because they give us like coins. Maybe we can get cloud from uh, exchange shop. Not sure. I don't know because this is the first Neo Vision banner. So I still need to take a look on what happened on the game. Okay, but still, this is. I really cannot recommend anything on this banner, okay? It is up to you whether you to summon or not because yes, this first gonna be really powerful but at the same time he gonna suffer from power creep if it is same like on the past. Remember to lightning, radiant lightning to those characters, pretty sad right? And actually I'm kind of surprised because yes, we don't get lightning as the first new feature characters again okay because yes the first the first five stars lightning the first seven stars radiant lightning but this time cloud cloud and lightning okay so yeah i think that's all you need to know guys about this week banner really excited about this thursday Thank you very much for watching, press hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy, Brave XVS Guide. Bye bye guys!